I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. I swear, every time I walk out of there, my ledger's lower and lower. Ain't the first time. All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode. Episode 23 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So right now we've got Arthur just taking a quick little snooze here. Unfortunately, we got to wake him up. You know how many times back in the days these people just wanted to stay there and just sleep as much as they could? But they couldn't because they were outlaws. And well, people want them dead. Like nowadays, somebody just wants to call the cops on you. Back in the days, people just wanted to kill you. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't live in, you know, the late 1800s Hello, sir. in a town called Valentine or anything like that. Okay, I'm just assuming. But um, we actually have three main missions that have opened up for us. And the reason I wanted to go to this one, the one with John Marson, is because the last episode ended off... Uh, well, it didn't end off, but it started off with John Marston breaking him out of prison. You looking for trouble? And and basically him realizing that Dutch is a piece of shit <laughs> because he is. Dutch doesn't care for him. As a matter of fact, we've realized that Dutch doesn't care for anyone within this group. He somehow thinks that Micah is this all being wonderful of a person. This amazing human being or maybe not maybe he doesn't like him either he's just using him I, I don't know the point is the dutch is a piece of crap so i kind of want to see what what the story entails as far as like the dialogue between arthur and john i don't recall if they kind of speak about it or what have you i know they do eventually but i don't remember in this mission if anything happens so, I wanted to start off today with this one. Something's going on over here. Open the damn. Master! Well, give me the damn key. Hey, shut up. Get out of here. Act like you need to. Hey, hey! Whoa, 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 my boys were getting robbed. Woo! Put a hole in that boy's fucking forehead. Jesus! Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Oh, they killed this hey, man up there. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Oh, really? Is that so? Well, I'll get some revolver cartridges. I ain't never hurt nobody. Okay, then, girl. Those damn O'Driscoll boys. Always robbing this place. Look at my horse. <laughs> it's blending with my with my wolf pelt. Which I said it on the last episode. It was probably gonna become another NPC here. I haven't gone to the trapper. I really need to start going to the trapper, man. It's just it's still time consuming, you know. I know I gotta do more um, hunting stuff, which I have in the past. Um, when I first played this game, I remember I did a lot. Um, but this time around, we're, we're just kind of, obviously, we're playing it on the computer or what have you, but we're really focusing on more side missions than ever before. Now, I'm kind of proud of that. I've kind of stayed, I've kind of stayed pretty damn true to that, for the most part. All right, where the hell is John Marston? Of course. There we go. Where is he? Oh, he's right here, dude. You guys see that flickering? All right, so I tried uh, reloading the game, but I think I think it might just be this part of the game. I, I'm not sure. Let's see if it if it continues or not. It's 
actually very bothersome. I don't like it. <laughs> Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> That's exactly what I was looking for. I had a feeling they were going to talk about it. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. I think it's just this mission, dude. Let's try this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking Wait, about. Hold on A. More enemies? More chaos? I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Oh, there we go. Jesus, it took me so long to I forgot to read and then I was just think thinking that I knew how to do it all along, but I did not. I don't know if the first time I ever did it this fast. I think my dumbass actually kept tapping it. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. Get the dynamite first. Oh, return to the bridge. I'm sorry. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. Where's the dynamite? Oh, is, are we getting the one that's here? Jesus Christ. That's right, we gotta plant it on the freaking columns. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I I forgot. I'm I'm an idiot. Got it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. No, more to your right. Okay, so lower the crate down the side of the bridge. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I just got a text message. I'm, I'm so sorry. I need to focus. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. <laughs> That's it. Okay, good. The other one? Grab the other one. Yes, sir. I wonder what happens if you fall from like down, like if you jump into that river from over here. I wonder if you die. It's actually quite an interesting theory. Hmm. Just like last time. Come on. Nice and easy. I gotta go get more or what? Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Nice. I love John and 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 Arthur. I wish I wish there was more missions okay. with them. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. I really do. I really really do. The thing is that the way the story the is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. The way the story is portrayed, it's like Arthur not that he doesn't dislike John, because he really doesn't. They, they've been together with the, with Dutch and Hosea for so long. But you don't really see them come close and agree on a lot of things up until the end. You know what I mean? Up until the end. OK. 
Okay. We're gonna put this one here. A whole okay. lot of dynamite. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. <laughs> right, here we go. I've been telling myself that I, can, I gotta re-watch the Back to the Future movies. Every time I play this game, it reminds me of that movie. Return to the hand car. Oh, shit. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Bro. Oh, God. A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Ah! Let's go blow this thing up. You can do the honors. You can do the honors. What the hell? Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Ah, okay, fine. Well, thanks, John. If this doesn't piss them off, nothing will. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Hmm. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. Fuck yeah. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. <laughs> but it weren't us who changed. That's fucking true. 
That's goddamn true. You know how you know this man is is a good man? He hasn't told a single soul, or at least any of his companions, that he's dying. Like, how many times would, would a normal person be like, John, I'm dying. I got sick from this job or what? He never said anything. He just doesn't. <laughs> Fucking Arthur Morgan, bro. All right. So right up here, if you guys see, we've got a... I'm going to call my horse. Right up in here, we've got a side mission. I think this mission is... Yeah, this is the uh, the veteran. You guys told me that if I fish with the veteran and do all his missions, that I can actually keep his... <laughs> I can actually keep his horse, which is phenomenal. Oh, could this be his cabin? Perhaps? Oh, that's cool. Wait, wasn't it here? Where'd he go? Is this where he lives? Does he live here? I think he lives here, bro. Maybe he's just not here. Gold pocket watch. Yes, sir, indeed. All right, hold on. All right, so I'm going to camp out somewhere here and see if this guy comes back. I feel like he might just not be here right now. Let's set up camp. Let's see what happens. Maybe I got to come back at a different time of day or something. But we've gone ahead and slept for a little bit. For about 11 hours till morning, and guess what? He's now there. <laughs> Good girl. I robbed his house, but he doesn't know that. He wasn't even there. But he's there now. Yeah, so it was definitely that. We had to come at a different time. Here we go. Obviously, he doesn't have to know I robbed him, right? You don't, you don't need to know that. Oh, look at that horse. She's freaking beautiful. The door's open. Hamish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to mm -hmm. go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Mm -hmm. All right. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. I remember. You don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> The optimism of youth. I remember the first game I ever fished on. I fished in. It was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I was fucking mind blown. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lore I gave you? Hmm. Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. 
So now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Okay, slowly rotate to attract fish and RT and you feel a bite. Come on, man. Whoa, what's this? You got something? Oh. I got something all right. <laughs> Did he get it? Uh hey him. Hey, you need Come on now. <laughs> got you. That's probably not gonna be that. Come on. What happened, bro? You good? Went slack. Went all slack. Come back. Oh, it's a drop back. Amos. Amos. God damn. He's bigger than I remember. Holy shit. Stay there. I'm throwing out to you. Real quick. Hold on, man. I'm running the wrong way. <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, come on up here. It's gonna pull him down, huh? No, he did it. Wow. You lost anything? It's just my rod. Let me guess. I'm well, gonna have to do it now. Too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah, he's your fish now. Cast away. Row to the fishing we'll spot. From the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Hold on, let me reset this. This is embarrassing. There we go. This is speed that up a little. Uh, the fish attracted to the bait will often nibble before taking the bait. This is pretty, pretty, pretty good mission. Oh, I think I hooked them real. Oh. Let's land the bastard. Okay, use L to control the fish while it's struggling. Okay. Reel it in. And then quickly rotate while it's tired. Okay, good. It's probably not even, not even gonna Come be on. this one. Come on. Stop reeling the fish. It's struggling. Continue because the line can break. Oh, it could be this one. Who knows? All right, we'll reel it in now. This game does a really good job at like pull down to drag the fish towards you and quickly reel. Yes. It pulls out of line quickly, really. reel in some lines to prevent it snapping. Oh God. He's right there, dude. He's so close. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! That took me like 15 minutes. Seriously. Jesus. Oh my god! Whoa! Look at that shit. Damn you! Like the boat's a little wet. That is badass. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. That's pretty insane, huh?
Here, here. Oh, hold her. <sighs> Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't <laughs> want. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <laughs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. That's cool. So we have arrived now at Valentine. And the reason we're here is one, because we're relatively close, and two, there's a stranger mission. Which is actually a continuation now, to... You see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face to you. To these two nerds. Punch, <laughs> my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh, These guys are dumb. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you really walloped him. Yikes! Mm. I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look at <laughs> I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, give me again. Right, right here. here. Oh. <laughs> Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I st oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Minor me. In the manhood. <laughs> Bro, these My dudes are turn. stupid. Enough, gentlemen. <laughs> yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. <laughs> Bro, the man is so stupid. Your heads? I'm telling you, those two are stupid. Like, what <laughs> a stupid. All right, guys. So we've come all the way over here. This was supposed to be our little adventure. The widow side quest. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Wow. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. 
Well, I'll, um... Hmm. I'll leave you to it. That's an interesting character. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Aw, he's so sweet, dude. Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. Whoa, this is cool. All right. But you better not try any funny business. <laughs> you know, I may be weak, but I still <laughs> know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Lead the widow to the hunting area. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. He hmm. was horrified. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do that. There. Look. A rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Oh, no. It's hopping away. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Got it. Oh, good job. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I? I mean, what do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. This is so freaking cool, man. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ah! It, it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Hmm. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. Mm. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. <laughs> right. I wonder if this is the widow you, some of you guys are telling me about. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, God. No, we're done for now. Whoa, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? I guess now you have wolf and rabbit. Ma'am? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. Yeah, you, you know would have. have. Yes. Well, my, my husband. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on. Let's get you home. Perfect wolf pelts. And a wolf heart. Wait, sorry, I, I don't have the energy to go People that fast. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, uh, I guess we only know what we know. Are you coming? 
Yeah, I'm just putting the wolf pelt there. Come on, it's just up this way. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Hmm. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. <laughs> I still can't believe he's gone. Where are we going? I suppose I'll just have to wait for you here then. Oh, well, we're going up there. Oh, you have your own little lodge too? Oh, I, I guess. I don't know why. I thought she was just living nowhere. That would be stupid. And it is stupid. And it was stupid. I wonder if we're gonna have more missions with her. She seems like a really good character. Interesting character, at the very least. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since hmm. we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, <laughs> if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and mm. hopefully I'll be a new woman. Okay. You take care, man. So we might actually have different uh, side quests with her. That's cool. All right, guys. That was badass. <laughs> that was cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and do another main mission. Um, and we'll see if we get another Don't side mission afterwards. Here I am. Come on. Let's Bye, go. dear friend. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise hmm. ourselves. In this? In this. Hmm. Going undercover. Believe it or not, I want to take off the beard. Okay. Come on. I do. I want to give Arthur like a nice clean look, you know? What do you guys think? I really want to, just to change well, it up. Well, don't we just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Hmm. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. I love how Arthur stands up for himself, you know? 
like the second in command. Like, boy, I don't fuck don't around either, you know. Love and execution. Hmm. Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Mm -hmm. hmm. All righty. Was that in here? Let's go. Quiet. Yeah. I don't recall what happens here. Look like a bunch of cops. I mean, enough. So what do you think? The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. All right, maybe up top, up here. I know where to the rooftop. Hello, Bonjour, sir. Monsieur. Bonjour. I am a man of high standards, and I request. Stop him! I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. I request access to the rooftop. This is where the guy had the paintings, if you guys remember. <laughs> Shooter's probably up here. Approach the shooter. Hmm. Approach the shooter's location. All right, we're in the rooftop. Let's get it. Attack me? Ow. Oh! <laughs> you lost Come on, bitch. Thing, I promise. That's right, bitch. I'm gonna take you out with my bare hands. <laughs> Welcome. There goes your escape plan. Justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Combe O'Driscoll is one such man. Hmm. He That's crazy how far he's come. Tortured, robbed, stolen. Raped and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These short. <laughs> this is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck 
until you are dead. Yep. This is not a task we take lightly. It you remember is not us, huh? A task we <laughs> Damn, it bro, is that's a task crazy. We must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. That's wild. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Fucking crazy. <laughs> Wait, can I not? There we go. I was about to say, can I not zoom out? Mission is so dope. Oh. Missed the last one. Sadie Eller just we fucked it all up. <laughs> Go. I mean, we got it done regardless, so. It's crazy, man. That dude has been a pain in the ass for the gang since, like, the first episode. Insane, and he finally met his day. I forgot how cool that mission was. That was that was pretty good. That was a pretty solid mission. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> how you get on, Arthur? How well, you doing, Tilly? And we saw the bastard hang okay, but <laughs> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came hmm. for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? Another letter? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. <laughs> and the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it wow. too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Isn't that the ring that he gives? 
I'm gonna shut up. Oh, what a whore. Oh, man, that sucks. Wait, did we just get a picture? Imagine if we get a prequel to this Red Dead Redemption 2 where we get to play with these characters when they were even younger. That would be insane. And then at the end, it fast forwards to like, I don't know, the end of Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Redemption 1. I mean, I don't know. I would love it. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're setting it up for something 15 years from now. <laughs> Perhaps not, Mr. Pearson. What a mess we made of everything. What a sad mess. Still, I got a friend right here. <laughs> and I got plenty more. Oh, Stormy. What's going on here? Can I get you? Two orphans playing at happy families. Oh what God! A touching scene. Go to hell. You know, Jack. Dutch thought your pa was gold once too, till he realized he was just yelling. Leave my son the hell alone. You got something to say? Say it to me, you son of a bitch! Oh, look, the rest of the old guard. Cherish every last moment with your son, John. Bro, like, why don't we just shoot this dude? For real, for real. Arrived at Wapiti. I remember this spot actually very clearly. Very clearly. Now that I'm here, I remember. So we're here for the. Uh, this is gonna be the last mission we're gonna do, I think, for rainfall. Word is, Eagle flies allied with a white man. Hmm. Alright, he's right up in here. Enter the tent. Hello. Come in. He's so peaceful, like so zen, <clears throat> this guy. You don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. Damn, that's cold. I don't cold. know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? <laughs> I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm 
very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Man, that back anyway, the background gentlemen, music. I won't take up any more. Relaxing. Time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Hmm. Do you know <laughs> if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Hmm. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. No? I was about to shoot them. Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to. Let's go. The hell's going on? Why are you riding off like that? So, uh, yes, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. The hell? How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... 
I sure as any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. I wasn't able to ride my horse properly back there. I don't know what the heck was going on. I thought we were going to fall over or something. Bro, look at... Look this at, is what I was looking for. English mace. Look at the scenery, bro. Like, the mountaintops in the back. Fucking okay. hell. Okay. Let's continue on. What were you speaking about before? Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Now worry, a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just I forgot that you had a fucking 19. kid. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through, robbed them, and shot them dead. Hmm. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. Well, they can make a story about All I can do now is try and make some things right. They can make a story about all these things that we hear throughout the story of before the events that are happening now, dude. Wait, stop here. So much crap. I want to pick some ginseng. Wow. Imagine if Arthur's son was alive. Fuck. Much like Jack. Woo. That'd be cool. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Oh, okay, thanks. Mix these together. It tastes awful. <laughs> But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got. But some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I <laughs> think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Wow.
Bro, I forgot how beautiful this shit is up here. Like, this is like the highest point of the game or something. Look at this. This is insane. Oh, oh, whoa. Maybe not the highest point. One of the highest points, that's for sure. Is there anything else he wants to talk about or... Maybe we can talk about secrets. A little pillow talk session here, Mr. Rainfall. No? Alright. I'm gonna need to go faster, man. Alright? Test my patience. That was wild. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. Do we go back to his camp? Do we go? I don't remember. Speaking of his son, though, I forgot Arthur had a son. I remember knowing, but but I forgot that, that he did. Like he just what's fully happened? forgot. No, it can't be. Oh god. No. They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Poor Someone guy. who wanted to enrage you. Poor guy, man. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Hmm. Let's go up here. Another whiskey bottle. I cannot believe this. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. More whiskey. Oh, a flask. Same shit. There's some whiskey here. Something back there. What is this? A bottle. A bottle of what? Whiskey bottle. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Hmm. I wonder if that stem down there. No, that's our camp. Isn't that his camp? Or no? Wait a minute. Range fall over here. Think was I it? see an army camp. Yep. Oh, there they are. These brave men. <laughs> Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. About to whoop their are ass. You surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Let's go, let's go. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. I, uh, 
Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. <laughs> we don't need money, man. We don't need that. Our sacred item. Okay, come on, seriously. Try not to hurt anyone. Okay, I think it's. I think well, it's good. I want to show that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. I think at this point it's my horse or something that's glitching out. It happened. Ow! It happened right. earlier back there. It's happening again, so I'm just gonna run and then I'll call the horse. And then, so we'll make it that way. If the horse gets here on time, I mean, I'm already there, so there's that. I'm gonna kill all of them. They're all gonna fucking die right now. I'm messing with my boy Eagle's flies. Stab his ass. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that messing up my honor? Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what, quite frankly, I don't care. And for the last guy, I'll give him the beatdown treatment. Where is he? My horse needs to get out of here. Oh. Oh my god. This guy's gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, I probably wasn't supposed to shoot him. <laughs> They're part of the law, which is not good for the honor. But fuck it. Who gives a crap anymore? Let's see if we find this. Oh, it's right here. Oh, some arrows. Poison arrow pamphlet. Very nice. It has a lot of stuff in that. Here we go. exactly what we needed I know we can loot this area for more stuff but uh, I think we're good okay I think Bye. we're just fine we are just fine yeah my horse is glitched yeah. uh, right now <laughs> what's up with my horse ah! what? please tell me you found it here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, <laughs> thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. But these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. He's a good man. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Excellent, bro. Excellent. I think if I wouldn't have killed those guards, we would have gotten a better ranking, but it doesn't matter.
They're all fuckheads anyways. Uh, we're gonna end it here. Fantastic episode. Thank you guys for watching. That's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like. Stay tuned. Catch you on the next one.